Hello, my name is Stephanie and today I will be performing the subcutaneous injection skills video. I'll start off by verifying the doctor's orders and the EHR. I'll verify the six rights of medication administration to confirm I have the right patient, drug, dose, route, time, and the right documentation. I will make sure to gather all of the supplies that I will need. I will do any medication dosage calculations before I get started. The doctor has ordered heparin 1,000 units to be administered uh, subcutaneous. It is supplied in 10,000 units over 10 ml. I will uh, draw 1 ml and that will equal to 1,000 units over 1 ml. I will enter the patient's room. I will close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy. I will perform hand hygiene. Hi, Mrs. Garcia, my name is Stephanie and I will be your nurse today. Can you please verify your first name, last name, and date of birth? I went ahead and verified with two patient identifiers. Mrs. Garcia, do you have any allergies to food, uh, medicine, or the environment? Okay, so today the doctor has prescribed a heparin injection. What is heparin? So it's an anticoagulant that is used to prevent a blood clot formation in the bloodstream. So what it does is that it interrupts the body's clotting mechanism, which can uh, prevent um, clot formation again in the bloodstream. Some of the most common side effects of heparin uh, will be um, pain in the injection site. You may experience a bleeding or bruising in the area and redness. Some of the most serious side effects are um, having a shortness of breath, dizziness, uh, maybe um, severe abdominal uh, pain or vomiting. If you do experience these, please go ahead and let me know right away. Some patients have uh, complained about a stinging sensation or burning in the area. Just please be aware of that. Do you have any questions for me? I know that's a lot of information. Okay, so I'll go ahead and perform hand hygiene and I'll apply clean gloves. All right, so now I'll make sure I have the right syringe and the right needle. So um, for the syringe, we will need a 3 ml syringe. And for the needle, we'll take a 25 gauge needle. Uh, this is uh, specifically a one inch needle. So depending on the patient's weight and body mass, we may consider a 5 8 inch needle. Again, it depends on the patient's weight and body mass. So then I will um, clean the top of the vial with an alcohol prep pad. And then I'll withdraw one ml of air into the syringe. I will remove the cap. Insert it into the vial. And then I will withdraw the one ml of heparin. Right, so I will tap the syringe to get rid of any bubbles. And then I'll make sure uh, that we're at that 1 ml level here. If I did this step uh, away from my patient, I will go ahead and recap the syringe slowly. And I will label the syringe with the medication name and the dosage information. And the next step that I will do is that I will select the subcutaneous um, injection site. So um, we have a few options here. We can give it in the outer area of the upper arm and we can give it in the abdomen um, two to five inches away from the umbilical area. And we can give it in the thigh area, the upper, outer thigh area. So um, we're going to use the abdominal area to inject uh, the insulin. Again, we have to inject two to five centimeters away from the umbilical area. Either side, left or right will work. We're going to inspect the site and make sure there's no um, skin bruising, skin discoloration, um, any lesions. We'll palpate for masses or any tenderness. And we'll also verify that there's no injection in the area that we will be injecting. Um, we'll test uh, the needle size. So we'll fold up the skin up and down 
and we'll verify that the needle is one half the length of this fold. And it is, we can go ahead and continue. So the next thing that I'll do is I'll clean the area with an alcohol prep pad in a circular motion, um, inside to out for about five centimeters. We will let that air dry. We won't fan it or blow on it and we won't touch the area either. And um, the next step is to, um, we're gonna um, take the cap off and then we're gonna pinch the skin and then we're gonna inject at a 45 to 90 degree angle. Um, since it's uh, subcutaneous, um, we're gonna go ahead and hold the pinch. If we had another subcutaneous um, injection, we would release the area and pinch the syringe. So I'll go ahead and inject here and I'll go ahead and hold the syringe here with my uh, non-dominant hand and because it's heparin I'll go ahead and inject um, at over 30 seconds all right so the next thing that I'll do is I'll take a gauze place it over the injection site and remove the the syringe if this uh, needle had a safety uh, mechanism I'll go I would go ahead and lock it throw it into the um, into the um, sharps dispenser here I'll go ahead and toss it and um, I'll make sure to hold uh, the gauze here for over 30 seconds because it is a heparin injection and um, if needed I'll go ahead and um, place a bandage over the area all right so I'll go ahead and clean uh, my area here I'll remove my gloves I will perform hand hygiene and I will go out and document my procedure.